Hey everybody, welcome to the tutorial for getting set up to develop with Oculus Rift in VR. We're using Unity 2019.3. In this video, we're going to get you set up with an OVR player controller, which will allow you to move a player around the world. You'll be able to look in all directions with your VR headset and use the left and right touch controllers to move around the scene. We'll also get you set up with the custom hands provided by Oculus, and these hands come with gesturing, so pointing and grabbing, and eventually you'll easily be able to grab items in your world. And we're going to be making sure that we use the Oculus integration archive version of 1.42, and we'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so in order to get the Oculus integration with an archive version of it, we can open up our favorite internet browser. We can search for Oculus integration archive and click the first link. This will take us to the Oculus developer site. The drop down here, we can choose 1.420 and then we can download this file. Okay, so we've got our Oculus integration download now, and we're gonna go ahead and put that into our project. So over here in the project window, we can right click, import package, custom package, and find the Oculus integration that we've downloaded. And we wanna go ahead and click import. Okay, we're going to say, I made a backup, go ahead. On this window, we're going to click yes. And we can go ahead and restart the editor. We also want to click upgrade. And we want to click restart again. Okay, so now you should see under assets in the project window, Oculus and everything that we've imported. Okay, now that we have our Oculus integration package imported, we want to make sure that our VR settings are correct. So let's go to Edit, Project Settings, Player, Checkmark Virtual Reality Supported, and make sure that the Oculus is listed here under Virtual Reality SDKs. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is delete the camera in the scene that is currently there. We do not need this. Then we can search for OVR player controller. And we can drag this left click up into our scene. Now this is our player and we want to give the player something to stand on so we don't fall through the world. So let's go ahead and give the player a plane by right clicking. 3D object plane and now we can click on OVR player controller make sure that the W key which is the transform key is selected and we can drag the player up so he's on, up above the floor okay the next thing we'll want to do is add a script to our OVR player controller so let's left click on OVR player controller scroll down to add component and we're going to be adding this character camera constraint which you can search for with this box here so left click on character camera constraint okay and then we're going to left click and left click and drag the OVR camera rig down to the camera rig field and choose dynamic height okay at this point we can go into VR and see what we have right now Okay, here we are inside of our VR game. We can look around. We also can move the left stick on the left touch controller to strafe and move around, which is provided by the OVR player controller script. And if we use the right thumbstick, we can snap look in a certain direction. Okay, awesome. We can interact with our scene a little bit and walk around. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is add hands to our player. So in the search under project here, we can search for custom hands left and right. If we expand the OVR player controller, the OVR camera rig and tracking space, 
if we drag custom hand left to left hand anchor and custom hand right to right hand anchor inside custom hand left we want to make sure that the left touch controller is set properly here and we also want to make sure that the tracking space is the parent transform under the OVR grabber script. Similarly, we want to do that also for custom hand right. Make sure that right touch is here for the controller setting and the tracking space is the parent transform. Now let's go into VR and see if we have hands. All right, cool, we've got hands in our scene. So the hands provided uh, allow us to do uh, gestures, we can point, we can grip, um, we also have the finger gesturing on the touch of the joysticks and also similar to the pointing if we touch and don't touch the top trigger uh, we can see that it interacts with this as well. If you guys don't see the hands right now don't worry because I'm going to show you what you can check in order to make sure that this works if you don't already have that set up. So let's check that real quick right now. Okay, if you guys don't have hands at this point, don't worry, there's one thing that we can check. If we go to Oculus, Platform, and Edit Settings, sometimes you need to have the application ID here for the application that you're developing, which is the game. If you see this, you can click Create Find Your App on this dashboard here. Okay, this brings you to the Oculus Developer Dashboard where you can create an app. I already have a couple apps here. If I was to go ahead and click on Manage Build under the app that I've created, then on the next screen it will show the app ID for the application that I'm developing. That same application ID I can go ahead and put here into the Oculus Rift application ID box. Also, you may need to also go to Avatars, Edit Settings, and enter the application ID in this box as well. When those two boxes have your application ID, you should see your hands. If you still don't see your hands, then maybe rewind this video and check to make sure that you set everything up properly. Okay, now that we're up and running in VR, we're going to finish this video off with adding some objects in the world that you can interact with. So what we can do is, our player is currently pointing forward in the Z direction. I'm going to go ahead and move him back a little bit. I'm going to right click here and add a cube. Now you can change the scale, the rotation, and the position using the W, E, and R keys. W changes the transform, which is basically moving your items around the world. The E key is going to quickly allow you to rotate your items depending on which axis you choose. And the R key is going to let you scale. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this box to be rather large. Over in the box's inspector window, I'm going to add a rigid body, which is going to give the box some physics. We can make sure that gravity is checked here so that the object has gravity. We're going to add an OVR grabbable script, which will make this cube allowed to be picked up. And now we should be able to interact with our cube and pick it up in the world. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in our game. We should now be able to use the left thumbstick to move over to the cube, reach down, and pick up our cube. And there you go. We're able to pick up objects in the game. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching my tutorial video. If you like it, please hit the like button and leave a comment, and also subscribe for more tutorial videos to come in the future. And we'll see you guys next time.